Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale and I'm owner of Off the Beaded Path located in Forest City, North Carolina. For the last couple of weeks, I've been promising you an On The Rocks bracelet, or I'm sorry, On The Rocks necklace. Um, some things, you know, have happened beyond my control. Um, my grandmother passed away. She was in the hospital for a week, um, and then we went on vacation. And now, on top of all of it, is, as my little boy says, we have bugs in our stomach. Um, Sammy, Grayson, and I all have the stomach virus, so that is why you're getting a video at home today. This video is going to be very quick because you already know the techniques on how to do the different projects I'm going to talk to you about. Um, the project itself will take you a while to work on, but um, like I said, you already know the techniques, so I only feel like I just need to show you um, some key factors in this project. First off, you'll want to go back to the herringbone hoop earring video, and you want to make one complete component just like this okay the only thing I've not done is I've not put one of the loops on the top okay so you want one complete component then once you finish that component you'll want to go to the on the rocks bracelet this is not the trio it's just the bracelet and you want to make a strip of the on the rocks long enough for half of the necklace for my necklace I've used a hundred rows of the size 8 seed beads on the bottom. You'll need two of these strips, okay? So two strips identical. I've went ahead and I put a button on one strip and a loop on the other strip so that once you've got these two pieces, now all you have to do basically is go ahead and connect all your pieces to make the necklace. So like I said, I'm not going to show you how to do that again because there's already quite a few videos for you that I've done on that. So go ahead and get that together and then I'll show you how to finish it and put it all, all together. Right, so I have my two strips of the On The Rocks bracelet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I made sure that one thread on one piece ended up coming out of the top part of the bracelet and then the other thread on the other side is coming out of the bottom piece so like if you put them like this they're opposite sides and this will help you a lot putting the piece together so the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a needle threaded on to the top thread here and I'm gonna take the needle and I'm gonna come directly through the size 8 C bead right across from the one I'm coming out. I'm not adding anything, I'm just going through the bead so that it pulls that center together there. Next, pick up one size 11 seed bead. With that size 11 seed bead, what you want to do now is you want to take it in the first size 8 that you are coming out of, this one here, you want to come right back down through that same bead so that when you pull it, it connects the pieces together. Now I've got mine loose right now so that you can um, see the circle. But you want to keep this nice and tight, okay? So now that I've got that, I'm ready to reinforce it. So I'm going to go through the size 8 seed bead directly across from the one I was coming out of. I'm going to go through the 11 seed bead that I added. and then down through that first size eight one more time. And I want to reinforce this as many times as I can. Now, just like um, the trio bracelet, you don't want to tie this. Um, I'd much rather you stitch it through than to tie it off because that way, any place you put a knot, you're going to see it. So you want to go ahead and reinforce this little connection as many times as you can and get rid of this one thread. Now you're ready to add your bottom or the centerpiece of the necklace. And I have a needle threaded onto that bottom thread. I want to pick up one size 15 seed bead, so a 15. You're going to take your, your herringbone hoop that you made, and you just want to go through one of the 4 millimeter bicones along the outside, just the bicone. And then you want to pick up one more 15. I'm going to take the needle, and I'm going to go through the size 8 directly across from where my thread is exiting. So I'm just going to come 
straight through this bead and I want to pull it and pull it tight so that it pops that bead um, circle into place. Now you want to take just like I said with the top part, you want to reinforce this center as much as you can and then get rid of your thread because this is what's going to hold, this thread is what's going to hold this heavier piece on. So go through and reinforce this as many times as you can and then get Once rid of this thread. Once you have your threads tied off, you have completed your On the Rocks necklace. It's very simple um, compared to, you know, adding all our components together and it should take you anywhere from two and a half to four hours to complete depending on how quick you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time for our brand new project.